many people, this man is the definitive phantom of the opera. We're talking about the supremely talented Michael Crawford. That's right. Now, let's not forget, of course, he created that part himself spectacularly for the record-breaking musical, both here in London's West End and on Broadway to great acclaim. He then took his uh, one-man show around the world, including a successful and record-breaking stint into the very heart of Las Vegas. But right now, he's celebrating yet another anniversary, and that is one, of course, of a role that really won him so many plaudits and to this day he's held with such great affection as ever let me explain hi good morning neil sean here nice to see you yes this man is a man that i truly do adore you know and i've been lucky enough to interview him on numerous occasions at the london palladium in new york and a very special evening with at the q and a should i say the v and a not the q and a that's what we did the victoria and albert museum we were celebrating 35 years of phantom of the opera and he brought along some very special uh, costumes and things like that the fans couldn't believe it but he's really what he sees you know a lot of people say you know what is michael crawford like very shy actually you know such an unassuming man for a towering talent let's not forget really of course he he's done so many other things the beat the phantom starred opposite the late beetle john lennon in a movie and then the superstar singer barbara streisand with walter matow in a low dolly a big success if not commercially for him on a career level but now, can you believe this? It's 40 years since this spectacular BBC comedy, Some Mothers Do Have Them. Now, Some Mothers Do Have Them was the big thing that everybody loved way back in the early 70s because he was a god's gift really for impressionists you know the gabardine coat the berry ooh betty the catchphrases and of course uh, really helped along by the beautiful michelle de Trice playing betty now as i say it's 40 years and uh, michael basically has been doing a few interviews and we were lucky enough to catch up with him once again and have a chat what i didn't realize was though that all of those stunts that he did and some of them were death defined when you look at some of them truly were very risky he said he wanted to do them because he was such a you know a sort of agile acrobat as it were but on one situation where he was almost buried alive under the sand he had to hold his breath while they got the very final take can you imagine that being allowed today in this PC world? You just wouldn't be allowed to do it, would you? But also, a lot of fans don't realise that that particular hit comedy show, which went on to be sold literally around the world. And I think the appeal of Some Mothers Do Have Them is simply this. It's a slapstick, isn't it? It's Laurel and Hardy, Harold Lloyd, Buster Keaton, all those early silent movies that Michael himself told me he absolutely adored. But he almost didn't become Frank Spencer. That's right, because the actual part was originally offered to another good friend of mine, the late and brilliant Sir Norman Wisdom. He turned it down because apparently he felt he was a movie star and not a television personality. So then they cast their eye towards another brilliant comedian, Ronnie Barker. But he too decided to turn it down, even though he was already having lots of success as a double act with Ronnie Corbett, another good friend. And what's fascinating here is by the time it came to Michael Crawford, they were very unsure about whether he would want to take it on because he was known as this versatile all-rounder, but not necessarily as a comic genius, which he turned out to be in this role. He'd had huge success already on the West End in things like Billy Liar, and as I said, the aforementioned Hello Dolly. But he truly turned Frank Spencer into an iconic role. Even today, people of a certain generation only have to hear the words, Ooh, Betty, and of course, they're transported back in time. I asked Michael, did he feel that he'd sort of created something like that all of those years ago? And he was as ever truly bashful, truly shy and truly honest. And he said, I loved making it, but we truly had no idea. He said he knew by the time the series had finished that, you know, it was engaged within school children, taking him off and doing impressions, but he didn't realize it's to what extent. And now he said he looks back at it with absolute affection. Can't believe how daft he was doing all of those stunts himself and not getting paid a massive fee, I might point out. This, after all, was the BBC. But even now, apparently, they don't necessarily want to show it on screens around the world without putting in a trigger warning first. Isn't it ridiculous? But thankfully, the brilliant Michael Crawford's performances as Frank Spencer in Some Mothers Do Have Them truly live on. If you haven't sampled it yet, Look out for some episodes on YouTube here. Trust me, it will definitely make you giggle.
near Sean in the very heart of London.